are back on By the Book Bonus Bets. This is Meg McDonald. My name is Sia Najad. And Meg, we're midway through the season, and we've got a division where every single team is plus money. Which is very rare at this point of the season. If like, you, you look at, like, the Ravens and the Bills, you're going to lay a lot of juice. I love that we're talking about the NFC West because mm -hmm. every team is just about even. Yeah, it's crazy. In terms and, of record. And what's so I interesting, be clear about yeah, that. in terms of record, it's it's really close. This is kind of stunning to me. We've got the Niners at plus 110, the Arizona Cardinals at plus 320, Rams at plus 400, and the Seahawks at plus 500. Now, before we give out our picks on where we see where the value is here, let's look at the standings. Meg just talked about how this is really bunched up, and I guess this is why we see plus money across the board. The mm -hmm. Cardinals technically in first place at 4-4, four and four, the Niners at 4-4, four and four, Seattle also 4-4, four and four, the Rams at 3-4. and four. Meg, I look at this, and I, I say to myself, what do you say? What do you I say, say? I say, Sia, I say, <laughs> Self, if the season started today and it was only an eight or nine game season and uh -huh. you were going to give me the San Francisco 49ers at plus, 20. at plus 110, yeah. even without Brandon Ayuk and some of the issues they're having on offense, we know Christian McCaffrey's coming back in week 10. Let's take a look at the schedule for the San Francisco 49ers because I can't look away from this plus 110 number. I know they're tied with everybody else, mm -hmm. but the long and short of it is, yes, there are some tough games here at Buffalo is going to be tough. They play the Rams, a lot of division games, obviously, Arizona. Uh, they play Detroit, but that's at home in San Francisco. I think this team, they, they start off slowly all the time, Meg. True, and true. then they start to really turn it on. Christian McCaffrey likely back in week 10. I think this offense is going to start humming with him. Defense is fine. Give me the Niners at plus money, plus 110. I'm it's, not going to say no to that. It's crazy to see the 49ers to win the NFC West at plus money right now. But it did kind of feel like Sunday night football kind of was got to have it for the yeah. 49ers against the Cowboys here just last night because a 4-4 four and four record looks a lot better yes. than what it could have been. So I, I love this play. I do. And I think going into a bye with the win over the Cowboys, potentially getting CMC back, mm -hmm. solving all of those Offensive red zone issues could be yes. interesting. However, Ooh, uh, however, however, maybe it's recency bias from Sunday Night Football versus mm -hmm. the Cowboys. The 49ers tend to give up big leads. Yes. So I'm going to go down the board and take the Rams at four to mm. one because this is a total buy low spot. And again, maybe I'm the prisoner of the moment. The Rams finding out a way to beat a red hot Minnesota Vikings team with an, an excellent defense and kind of that offense has been humming throughout the early stages of this season. But with a healthy Rams team, it is different. Puka Nakua was awesome yes. last week. Cooper Cup makes all the difference. And guess what? Yes, Stafford's getting older, but Stafford can still kind of sling it. Yes. And when we look at this schedule, is it the easiest schedule? No, this is why they're four to one. This is a buy low spot. But technically, through weeks nine to 11, they could potentially go three and oh. That would be massive because the odds are going to totally shift. Mm -hmm. And you're still going to get plus money, but you're not going to get four to one odds. So give me the Rams. Sean McVay is kind of like the wizard boy wonder of the NFL. So is Kyle Shanahan, too, yeah. this younger generation of NFL coaches. But you're giving me four to one odds on a team that could potentially continue to get healthier and healthier. And yes, Matthew Stafford will probably get picked off once a game. Take those odds every single time. Yes to an interception, but he can still sling it too. It's hard to bet against Sean McVay. It is. When he has Cooper Cup, Puka Nakua, and some of those young receivers are playing really well, and some of the veterans like Tutu Atwell, yep. Kyron Williams. Yeah. There's a lot to look forward to if you're a Rams fan, I think. And I wouldn't have said that two weeks ago. No, because I think they were in full-blown survival mode. That's right. <laughs> All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I think we both like the 49ers at plus 110. But if you're going to yeah. take a shot, mm -hmm. skip right over the Cardinals and hit that plus 400 on the Los and Angeles And Brock Purdy's Rams. a good quarterback. Oh, well, we didn't – I don't know that we needed that. I feel Mike. like people say he's in a system, and it could be any <laughs> – let me just get this off my chest. Go. It could be anyone under center for the 49ers, and they would find success. We have to stop doing that. Brock yeah. Purdy is a good quarterback, and – Sit with it. Just, just like lean into it. I have a feeling that on every uh, buy the book bonus bets that you see on Monumental Plus, we're gonna have some sort of Brock Purdy interruption. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, so much more content coming on buy the book bonus bets. Tune in, of course, Monday through Friday as well on Monumental Sports Network at 5:30. We're coming at you with all kinds of picks, all kinds of plays. We'll see you on the next one, folks.